All right, guys, so we are kind of entering into a new phase of things and kind of a last minute uh, project that we're gonna be doing. Meet this Thomas bus. It's a 2004 Thomas HDX. Um, we actually, a few days ago, the family went out to go see the bus. Yesterday, um, our very good friend Jeff came and drove me about an hour and a half away from here and we went and picked Cannon the bus City. up. Canyon City, yeah. Colorado. Okay, so we're on our way to Canyon City right now to go pick up a bus. So yeah, we're riding in Jeff's Toyo 1998 Toyota 4Runner. They don't make them like this anymore. And this is Cole. Now Cole has been featured in some past videos and some of you commented that he was a very annoying dog. <laughs> <laughs> our good friend Jeff here who has been in a couple of our videos in the past he lives in Colorado about five hours away and he I called him and said hey Jeff can you can you take me to pick up this bus so he was kind enough to do that for us it's always good to see Jeff Here at the bus, let's go take a look. That'll clean up. Yeah. I think, I think it looks pretty good, actually. I mean, there's a few spots. See the bumper? Yeah. I don't know why the bumper is like that. Here's our trouble right here. Oh. Pretty bad. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. This, this is just a. Uh, this thing, I think, will come oh, off. Okay. So you can think we, we can take that out and straighten that. Hey man. No, if it needs anything else. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. It. It <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This area here. So this is actually a different, this is the engine before mine. It actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, right? You want to hear it fire up? Yeah. All right, All right guys. So we're going to give this thing a start. been done. The engine and the transmission, they both feel really strong. the last reformation to join them this summer and um, tour around America and they've also requested that we convert this bus here into a mobile coffee shop for them so that's what we're going to be doing we have a three-week window to a month <laughs> to a month to get this bus into shape ready for operation. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna kind of introduce you to this bus. We're gonna walk around it, show you all the things that are gonna have to be actually fixed on it before we can even really get in really deep into this project. Yes. And it's one of those things where you're like, can we really do this in three weeks to a month? Yes, so. it's gonna be very tight 
and we're gonna bring you guys along. Yeah. <laughs> Notice that this bumper is very rusty. I don't know why it's very rusty. I've already been underneath the bus. The bus is completely free of rust, mm -hmm. so that's great. One of the things you'll notice on this bus is it's already got the raised roof. So the height of this bus on the inside is about six foot six, so we do not have to do um, any kind of a roof raise on this. Another nice feature of this bus, it's got aluminum wheels. The tires are all pretty much brand new. This was a prison bus, so we've got a lot of holes that we're gonna have to uh, fix. And this is where the cages, you know, the, the steel cages would have gone over these windows here. One thing awesome about this bus, like ours, it does have the under storage bays, yep. which makes putting water tanks in and sewer tanks and all that a lot easier. Very nice uh, tires. These things feel like they're brand new. I actually looked these tires up. They're over $800 a piece for these tires. I see that there's a couple more bolts that are attached here. So we'll have to get Ashton on this and get these out. Battery banks on this bus, very nice condition. You know, a lot of times these battery banks are, you know, rusted and corroded. This one actually still slides out very nicely. Three interstate batteries that that seem to work great. So this has a CAT 3126 engine in it. Engine runs excellent. The transmission runs excellent. Um, it, as you can see, it's actually pretty clean. The engine's pretty clean. There's no signs of oil or leaking or anything. We've got an engine here. This is what, what makes the bus go down the road. And this here is uh, something that holds fluid. This is some kind of fan for the radiator, I think. Right. This is a belt, not like Shane's belt that he wears right. around his pants, but one that's used to somehow create the engine, get it moving. He says it's clean, but um, to me it looks filthy. Yes, well, <laughs> you men out there will know what I'm talking about. I wouldn't eat on it. <laughs> clean as in, doesn't have oil all over it. So one thing we really like about uh, this bus for a cafe coffee bus is it has a rear door in it. So this will most likely be the main entrance for the coffee bus where you can go in, nice stairwell, and enter into the coffee house. Now something that is not so cool about this bus that poses a little bit of an issue is this. You've got some major, major body work that's gonna have to be Jeff, done. Jeff, the guy who actually took me to go get pick up this bus, he has done body work a lot. So we're gonna actually try to completely fix this. Whenever we've done a bus conversion, you find things that, you know, throughout the years, kids have tucked into crevices, uh, homework, they got lost somehow. We find those things. And since this was a prison bus and not a school bus, I'm interested to see what we find. Well, we already found we one thing. We have found one thing. It was actually up in one of these channels, somebody's prison ID card. Yeah, and this here is where the diesel go. As you can see. <laughs> it's really important to know. Yes. where the diesel goes because that's what gets the really clean engine going. So let's go in the back door and we'll take you inside the bus. It is dirty. You get up, it's dirty in oh here. Oh boy. Okay, so the inside of this bus is not very clean. No. No, it's not. These seats, they... They Hopefully need to come out. come out very easily. There is a few interesting things. Um, most school buses have escape hatches this doesn't but it does have something here i'm not too sure what it is i think this is some sort of a vent okay. a fan or something that draws air out you'll notice the taller ceilings so you know in our last bus it was like here you know so this gives us a bit more room the roof is the roof is here see it takes but when we probably try to take it out, it's probably going to be like really loud. Because it makes that sound. The windows can open, but one window is broken over there. All right, so I'm sitting in the very dirty cockpit of this bus. And actually, this bus has, I think, every feature that these buses came with. And those of you out there who are big Thomas enthusiasts may correct me, but this has got your um, your power mirrors. It's actually got a retard, uh, transmission retarder here. Um, 
It's got uh, cruise control. Um, it's got, I mean, all these switches. It's even got an outside outdoor, oh, yeah, outdoor right. speaker. It's got the pedals that go in and out down here. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna make a really nice conversion. What we're gonna do today, the first thing we're gonna start with is getting these seats ripped out. We've actually got a big dumpster that's over here. Um, we're gonna fit as many of these seats in there as we can, and we have to have them out today. And then we can start cleaning, doing a major cleaning on this bus and we'll see how far we get. So let's do this. So the kids are working on getting all these caps off for these seats. And Julie and I are gonna just start taking all these screws off of here. This channel here is all overlapping. So I'm gonna start here and work my way down. metal sliver here. I'm just gonna replace my screws so that I don't have to patch these holes. Shane doesn't know, but we're in competition. Let's see if I can get my side down before him. It's the last one. Boom, baby. I don't have any screws. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Julie's got like tons more. She's way behind over here. Look at this. She's got a whole stinking row to do. She hasn't put any screws in along here either. So I'm claiming victory on that one. He missed that one. Hmm. Wonder how, oh, another her. He didn't really win. All right, so I'm gonna be up top taking up all the bolts so we can take out the seats. He's gonna be under here with the wrench. Getting ready to move the bus over to where we have a dumpster to empty all the stuff out of it. Got it. We're gonna take that phone thing. Wait, hold that, sweetie. Let's get all this out. So we got all the seats out. We're actually gonna keep some of these seat brackets to see if we can use those for the bench seats we're gonna put in here. Um, so we, we're hanging on to, I think, seven of these. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go back over to, pull it back over to the bus and start actually cleaning this thing out because it is dirty.
like there's a little rag fight going on up there. All right guys, so this is pretty much what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Get this bus completely clean before we go in and play a game of Scrabble or something like that. So we should be back on it either tomorrow or the next day. Oh! <laughs> you are dead.